Hello beautiful Sagittarius, how are you today? Welcome to your reading. This is a love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Sagittarius. Welcome everyone, hope everyone's doing well. Let's see what the overall energy is for this reading. Okay, let's see, we're going to cut the deck. Let's see what we have here for you. Sag, welcome, welcome, Nine of Cups, I love it. That is your overall uh, card for the reading. Nice energy, Sag. Eat, drink, be merry, have fun. The pandemic is over. Yay. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here for you. All right, so we have, you are having a new beginning. Nice. All right. The Fool card. Remember that the Fool uh, never sees what's going on in terms of hidden dangers. And in this particular Fool card, we see this woman smelling a flower on the tail of a dragon. I don't know whether it's a dragon or an alligator. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Okay, so let's see. So a new beginning. I love it. Okay. Look at that judgment card too. Major Arcana is making a decision about taking that leap of faith. The moon card, you don't really know about someone. There's a lot of information that you do not have. There's a smoky trail here for your person. There's a wolf howling at the moon. There's something that's bothering you and you feel as though you need to make a decision in love. How you're viewing this situation right now, you are seeing yourself being very powerful. You're standing in your power. You're making good money. You feel good about your life. You're very stable right now. You're very stable and ready for love, Sag. How you feel in your heart space for somebody and how they feel about you is very much uh, up for grabs right now. The hanged man is there. It really says that you're taking a slow approach to things. Your person's taking a slow approach. The judgment card is Scorpio. This is Aquarius. That's Pisces. We have Taurus and we have Pisces again. So a strong watery element here, Sag. The way you view your future love life. Whoa, look at you. You are manifesting. Manifesting the beautiful Empress card. Really manifesting love. Manifesting everything that's abundant. This is a queen of the queens. You're manifesting, manifesting, manifestation. Because that's what Venus is. Your money must be really good right now for many of you. I feel as though there's been some sort of improvement over the last 12 weeks. I also feel that some of you are going to have a new chance a chance for a new job, something that pays very, very well. And you may not know the status of that right now. So when I see other things in the reading, I go ahead and let you, you know, have the information. It's good news. All right. You are feeling fired up. Sagittarius energy. There you are in the house. You are ready to, to take off on a new adventure. You're ready. You may be traveling. I always love, I've always thought of the Eight of Wands as airborne. You know, going off on that vacation, that adventure. You know, in Sagittarius, you are the sign of the long distance traveler. You are that sign. And so what we see here is you're very enthusiastic. You're very passionate. You have, you're wearing your skirt you're strutting your stuff or you're flying high one if you're masculine you're just flying and piloting your your craft as well as if you're female but you are really feeling good happy joyful you're holding on for dear life and the passion is fabulous whatever's going on in your love life right now which you're actually being a bit secretive about in the reading um is very, very passionate, very beautiful. Spirit's advice for you is the Six of Cups. I, it is reversed. So Spirit is saying that you may not necessarily want to revisit the past. Okay, so what's your outcome for this week? The Queen of Cups reversed. So what I'm getting here for you is that you're not really in that position to... Um, to do anything this week. I feel as though your love interest has left you hanging out to dry here. I feel as though they're in, I feel as though you're not speaking. I feel as though they might've done a disappearing act. This is very, very, um, 
unusual energy actually because we have this beautiful energy here but you you are inclined to make a decision at this time and that's what i'm getting that you really are energetically you know you're not going to really put up with it and spirit's actually advising you right now don't count on a reunion you know it's just not something that is guaranteed you know that energy of flying high is really good so your personal energy your personal space i feel very much that you're at a good time in your life right now sag i feel as though you're in a very uh very big upswing generally speaking in your life which is lovely so let's look and see what we have here for the clarifiers let's get a different deck to clarify okay so let's see why do we have the nine of cups eat drink and be merry for many of you you're just not in the mood for a serious relationship you know you're you feel as though there's a lot of drama so what's turned over in the deck is the eight of swords so the new beginning looks as though you're just you're not following through on it so it looks like you might have met somebody at a party or an event or a place that you were having a lot of fun you might have had a one night stand <laughs> which is you know hey life is what it is but we have the libra energy the libra libra another major arcana with judgment so i have to tell you after all these years of being a psychic doing you know 30 or 40 readings in a day. I'm telling you that what I'm getting for this is that for some of you, you're in the process of a divorce. Justice is usually filing paperwork. Judgment is a final dissolution. When I get these cards together, it's very significant. So it isn't going to be true, obviously, for everybody who's watching the reading, but it is a very significant placement here. So either the person that you love has disappeared and to go finish up you know, a divorce and coming back, hopefully for a reunion later, uh, it looks like it's underway. It could be you, it could be another person, the other person. What is the smoky trail here? What is it that we need to know about that? Ah, keeping secrets in essence until the deed is done. So I think for many of you, you're having a covert love affair with somebody who's married and the two of you may be planning for a future, but his spirit is saying, don't, don't count on it. So you have to be careful with that energy. You both love each other a great deal. There's no doubt about that. The manifestation of love is here. It's here. It's here. It's just on a practical level. It doesn't seem to be working out at the present time, but this is a weekly and timeless reading. Okay, so let's look at that King of Pentacles. That's you. Oh, you fell in love with your best friend. Somebody that I think you work with. That's the energy that I'm getting for you. Sagittarius, this energy is very powerful. It's very undeniable. The Three of Cups, reason for celebration. The Six of Cups, that's Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces energy. You have a trifecta of water sign energy right now. And we have a new moon in Cancer. What will it reveal for you? Okay, so let's see what the hanged man is about in the person of interest in their heart space. Oh, Sagittarius. It looks like they packed up and left. Now I can read this two ways, and it'll be it'll be true for each each watcher d differently. What I'm seeing is that for some of you, your person is waiting for the divorce so they can pack up and leave. In other cases, it looks as though you're in a state of suspension until they do leave the other party okay so i am reading this somewhat as a third party situation but it do, it's not reading with the three of swords and the two of coins because this person's already geared up for the divorce they're already in that decision making phase you are their ships that have come in let's see why we have the beautiful empress card here oh wow so your person looks at your picture every day they absolutely adore you. Your person loves you. I will say that. They have great appreciation for the fact of who you are. You are the Empress energy. They see that very clearly. 
they love to look at your picture by the way just love it so why do we have the eight of wands here and the hidden energy between the two of you oh my god <laughs> so we have sagittarius energy now we have leo fixed energy your attraction your passion your connection the fire is not dying anytime soon my friends you are in it for the long haul you the infinity symbol is the number eight of the strength card this is a very important relationship for you because we have so many major arcanas and that tells the story in and of itself with the empress the strength card you know with the hanged man with moon with the judgment the justice the fool phenomenal energy here so let's see why why is spirit telling you not to count on a reunion right now the two of cups this is going to take longer your person is with somebody else for right now you know, it does show that they're in the process very much in the planning phases, at least. But this person is going to take a, their sweet time about getting to you, not intentionally, but because circumstances are requiring it. Let's see why we have the Queen of Cups reversed. Well, because right now this person is not free to make a commitment. And the best they can offer you is romance, a Knight of Cups coming in with a big cup of love. So let's see what your ancestors have to say about this love relationship for you, Sag. What's the advice from your ancestor spirits who are looking down on you and helping you? All right, so let's see what we have. Bask in the joy and in the light. All right, like it. Beautiful. One more card for you, for your ancestors. Take charge with authority. So, you know, you're over here taking charge. You've got the King of Pentacles energy. You're really taking care of yourself. You're doing what you should do. Let's look and see the best way to stay grounded through this process. Sagittarius, gorgeous. I'm excited for you. This looks so happy, so joyful, so deep. A very, very enriching uh, love relationship. Let's see, go with the flow. Okay, good, always a good idea. Go with the flow, don't try to swim upstream. Don't try to rush anything, just take it as it comes. And dragon spirit change. Oh, so you are in for huge changes in your relationship. So Sagittarius, it's been a joy. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It really is necessary for any channel to grow and thrive. Thank you, bye-bye.